Okay, welcome everyone. Thank you once again, and thanks again for attending. This promises to be a great presentation. I'm going to be giving you a lot of things that you can actually start applying to your trading as early as tomorrow, if you'd like. And uh, just to give you a little bit more background about myself, uh, I've actually, uh, starting in 2014, I will be trading 37 years. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange, where I was on the floor for 16 years, and nine of those years I was a specialist for Donaldson, Lefkin, and Jenrette. That's, that's where we get the name specialist trading. Uh, even though my background is in stocks, I traded just about every market and every strategy and system around. So I've seen everything. I've traded through the crash of 1987. I traded through the bull market that ensued after that. And uh, when I left the floor in the mid-90s, I left to manage money and also to uh, manage my own personal trading account. So I've seen and heard just about everything. And roughly about four or five years ago, I started specialist trading just to promote and to teach, mainly to mentor and to teach my own particular methods. Now, as I stated, I have a great presentation for you today, things you can start using. And because we're in the Christmas spirit, this presentation was originally titled uh, Two Key Elements I'm going to share with you, but I feel very generous uh, once again, getting towards the end of the year and the holiday. So actually, I kicked it up a notch and I'm going to present you with three key elements of my most consistent strategy. Just to give you uh, one more thing that you can work with. These are usually reserved just for the members of specialist trading, but I'm going to share them with you today. Uh, before we begin, uh, we're required to show you this. Uh, as always, I'm going to show you a lot of performance results and a lot of different techniques and these three key elements. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to show you will be repeated in the future. So as you're taking a moment to view our disclaimer, I'd also like to mention, I know we don't have a, a huge crowd here today, but uh, I, I please ask that you wait till the end of the presentation to ask any questions. It's just that the, the webinar seems to flow a lot smoother if we wait till the end. So I promise I'll get to each and every one of your questions. If you happen to uh, have any, any questions that you'd rather speak to us personally, I'll leave you with an email address as well as a phone number where you can contact us. Okay, so just wait till the end and I promise we'll get to each and every one of them. Now, as I stated, Specialist Trading is an educational company. Even though we provide all of our members and our clients with signals and with strategies to trade, we're more about teaching you how to spot these things on your own so that ultimately you don't have to rely on anyone or anything else. You can pretty much just see the signals for yourself. And so you'll be able to get that consistency in your trading where you'll be trading 10, 20, 30 years down the road. I know a lot of traders have, have difficulty with trading. I know personally I did my first year of, of trading on the floor. I couldn't seem to make ends meet until I had a few mentors that taught me how to trade with the specialist edge. So that's the goal and that's the philosophy behind specialist trading. I want to teach you how to trade with a specialist edge. I don't want to just simply force feed you uh, signals and strategies. I want you to be able to spot these things on your own. All right, so here's what you're going to learn today. Like I said, we are an educational company, so I'm going to give you three key things today. I'm going to really teach you what I feel is the best way to trade in sync with the market. Everyone states and everyone knows you should always be in sync with the market, but it's very difficult to discern what in sync really is. So I'll teach you the simplest but the most powerful way to be in sync. I'll also teach you a price bar pattern that you should look for in every one of your setups. Okay, This should be in every setup regardless of what strategy you're trading. And then lastly, I'll show you a proprietary entry technique, which is based off of this price bar pattern. So you can apply all these three things after today's presentation to either one of my strategies, which incorporates these, or to one of your own. Or you can actually build a strategy based off of these. And then lastly, what I'm going to do is show you how they all add up and they make up probably one of our most popular and consistent strategies around that strategy number four. And I'll share with you a lot of examples and show you exactly how we generate signals and I'll show you some of the signals that were generated through Metastop. All right, so let's first talk about buys, okay? We're, we're first of all interested in going long whatever market we're trading. It doesn't matter if it's the E-mini, if the Forex market or stocks, but we wanna go long. Well, here's what we need. First key that we need whenever we're going long is that we must trade in sync with the trend. I, I know you've all heard this before and everyone states, yes, you always have to be in sync with the trend. But if everyone knows this, why do the majority of all traders lose, even if they know they're supposed to be in sync with the trend? Well, I think it's because everyone and their uncle has a different idea of what trading with the trend means. I mean, someone can base it off an indicator, someone can base it off of news, someone can base it off of some proprietary technique. And that's why everyone has so much trouble. Okay, So we all know we must be in sync with the trend. 
Well, we've developed what we feel is the most powerful but simplest way to know that you were in sync with the overall trend. Let me show you what I mean here. We're just going to look at a generic chart. It has no name or no time limit on it. We're not really interested in that. But just off of face value, someone would look at this and say, well, Steve, there really is no trend. We're just kind of in a range here. We're just going sideways uh, from top to bottom, and that's all we're doing. We make a high, another high, a low, another low. So there really is no trend here at all. Well, that's not true because when we see that we're going down and then higher and then lower again, it's very simple to think that there's no trend, that we're in a range. But if we use our proprietary tool for being in sync with the market, which is simply the 50 period simple moving average, we ask ourselves one question. And the question is, where is price in relation to that 50 period simple moving average? Okay, that, we call that the buy sell line. If the majority of price is above, then we're only gonna be looking to go long, okay? And if the majority of price is below, then we'll only be looking to go short. It's that simple. But let me show you how powerful this is. I can almost guarantee that if you look back at your last 10, 20 trades and apply a 50 period simple moving average, and see where you lost on these trades, I can almost guarantee that it's because you're out of sync with the simple rule. You were buying when you were below the 50 period moving average and you were selling when you were above. So this isn't a foolproof, 100% guaranteed you know, type of trading technique, but it will get you in sync a high probability uh, of the time. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for high probability successful setups. All right, so now that we're in sync with the market, now we know that it's okay to buy, we look for key number two, which is look for a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. All right, We want to find a bar that closes in the upper portion of its range. Why? Because the market is giving you a clue that it's most likely going to continue in that same direction. So we, whatever setup we have, whether it's based off of fundamental news, whether it's based off of indicators, or whether it's based off uh, the, the, the full moon, it doesn't really matter. In your setup, you want to see a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. All right, so we're above the 50 period simple moving average line. We want to look for these bars that we have here in green. As you can see, they're all closed in the top 25% of their range. All right. Now we go to key three. So how are we going to apply this now? Well, once we find those bars that close in the top 25% of the range, we're going to enter upon the confirmation of trend. So what does this mean, the confirmation of trend? Well, our confirmation is we're going to buy on the next bar only if price trades one to five ticks or pips, if you're trading the Forex market, above the bar that closed in the top 25% of its range. Okay, that's it. That's, that's the confirmation that we're most likely going to be going higher very soon. So if we look back at this Again, we see here that we closed in the top 25% of the range in that first green bar. And so we wanted to buy if we traded just above right here, one to five ticks in the next bar. But as you can see, we never traded there. So that wasn't any type of entry signal. Well, then we look at the next setup right here. And you would have purchased it had this been an actual strategy. Remember, this is just the three components of a strategy. We haven't given you the full rules. But as you can see, that would have worked out had you entered right there and you would have had some nice movement to the upside. And then finally, we have one more setup down here. Remember, this all depends on whether we had a setup in a strategy, a particular strategy that met other rules. But this would have been okay had you had it been a piece of the puzzle to your particular strategy and you would have entered. And look what happened. So you see how simple it is. We're in sync with the 50 period moving average. Whatever strategy we're deciding to use, we want to find in our setup a bar that closes in the top 25%. And then we want to go long if we trade one to five ticks above on the very next bar, which we did here and here. Those are three very important key elements of a good majority of the strategies that we teach and apply at Specialist Trading for our members. Now let's just go over what you do if you wanted to go short. Well, we just turn everything upside down. You must trade in sync with the trend. So in this case, we're looking at this particular example here. Once again, someone would say, well, Steve, there's no actual trend. We, we have a range here. Once again, this is just a range. So we are in no trend. I'll just sit on the sidelines. I won't look for any setups. Well, that's not true because I know off face value, it looks like there is really no trend. But if we apply the 50 period simple moving average, we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to that 50 period simple moving average. And it's easy to say that 
prices below. So this means we're only looking for sell setups. We're not even going to consider going long. Okay, it's that simple. We go to key number two now. Now we're going to look for a bar that closes in the bottom 25% of its range. All right, so if we look at these bars here, we want to highlight now in red the bars that closed in the bottom 25% of their range. Now remember, we still have to be in uh, the uh, realms of a, an actual strategy. We just can't pick a bar that closes in the bottom 25%. There have to be other rules applied. But we're just showing you these three key elements as they are right now. Now, if it fits all the other rules, we're going to enter upon confirmation of the trend. And what is that? Well, that means we're going to sell on the next bar only if price trades one to five ticks below the bar that closed in the bottom 25% of its range. Once again, if a bar closes in the bottom 25% of its range, it's giving you a tremendous clue as to which direction it wants to go. And that is down. Okay, so it's most likely going to continue in that direction. So we look at the bars here once again, and we see that this is where you would ultimately sell if there were a strategy applied at all these little red little lines here. And as we see in the very beginning, nothing really happened. You could have gone down and used this first one and had a, a nice small gain to the, to the downside, but it wasn't until right here where you would have entered off of this bar that ultimately the trend would have kicked in. Remember, we are below the 50 period simple moving average, so we're only going short. We're looking for bars that close in the bottom 25% of their range. And we're entering when price trades one to five ticks below that range. You should apply these three elements to any strategy you're using. And you know, even though it's not guaranteed, we can, we can just tell you that your probabilities for success will increase tremendously because you're in sync with the market and you're buying or selling when the market is giving you a clue as to which direction it wants to go. Okay, now let's see how these three elements uh, are put together in one of our most consistent strategies. That's strategy number four. And the beauty about strategy number four is that virtually trades in any market in any time frame. And it's for all traders, from beginners to advanced. We have hedge fund traders trading strategy number four. We have people who've been trading for just a couple of weeks trading strategy number four. It's for traders who are looking to catch quick momentum moves. Even though we teach you in the course how to extend your gains and try and capture as much profit as possible. If you trade the most standard generic form of strategy number four, you're just going to catch a quick gain in, a, in one to three days and you're out. Or if you're looking at intraday bars, you're going to be getting out after one to three bars. Okay. It's intensity level, one being the most intense, three being the least, is a two. So it's right in the middle. It's fairly simple to apply. It uses, uses only one indicator. That's the buy sell line. That's our 50 period simple moving average because it's a pattern recognition strategy. The best thing about strategy four is that it works in any time frame, in any direction, and in any market. I personally use this. I traded it today in, on the E-mini on a, a five minute chart, had some great signals. Now, the specialist edge is consistency. I know a lot of educators and people you see in different courses will tell you, oh, you have 100%, 200% gains. At specialist trading, we don't keep statistics. Remember, we're an educational company. We're more about teaching you how to manufacture and put the strategy in so that best fits your own personality. So we're more about teaching, but what we can say is our strategies have consistency. We have a two-step forward, one-step back approach. So that's what we're trying to implement in all of our members and all of our clients. All right, so let's start off showing you some examples with stocks and how well strategy number four works using the same elements I just shared with you. Okay, first thing, we're looking at uh, Apple, I believe, here. And we can see we are above the 50 period simple moving average. So what does this mean? Well, it means that we're only looking to go long. And here's where the plug-in generated a buy signal. So all we have to do is, as we can see here, we closed in the top 25% of its range. And we would have entered on this very next bar here. And it was a nice 15 point gain in Apple. But later on, as we see here, we have another buy signal that's been generated. We close in the top 25% of its range and all the other rules which uh, go with strategy number four were all met as well, along with being above the 50 periods of the moving average. And as you can see, we had a real nice move to the upside. And we look here, we can see that on this particular, this is SLV, I believe, we can see that we are kind of oscillating above and below the 50 period simple moving average. 
So we have no real clear idea yet of what's going on until we have this one bar that closes below the 50 period and also closes in the bottom 25%. So we could use this This is a more aggressive type of signal, but this was a valid signal that you could have taken if you wanted to. This was generated, <coughs> excuse me, as a sell, and the market went straight down after that. And we look here, these are the spiders. I believe this is a weekly chart. You can use the same approach in different time frames. We are well above the 50 periods of moving average. And one of the best things you can do with strategy number four or any of these elements, which I just shared with you, you can use them actually as market uh, indicators or directional tools. So even if it's a little bit too expensive to take the signals here in the spiders on a weekly time frame, you don't want to carry a position that long and it's too much expensive. Well, if, if the spiders are given a buy signal in strategy number four, well, isn't that basically telling you that the market is most likely going to be going up for the next one to three bars? So as you see here, these were all signals generated to go long uh, this past uh, six months or so. I believe every one of them would have been a winner except for this one right here. As you can see, you would have entered and then uh, on the sell-up. But it would have been a minimal loss and it would have been made up quickly on the very next couple of trades and then after that. As well, you can trade this. I believe this is an intraday chart of IBM. You, as you see here, this is prior to going below the 50, we were above the 50 period moving average on this intraday chart, and then we went below it. So on an intraday basis, you can also trade this. Here were valid buy signals. Here's where you would have ran into a little trouble where you would have gotten long and then immediately been stopped out, but you would have entered short and then been able to write all of this way down here. All right, so those are some examples now just using stocks. Let's go on to the E-mini S&P. As we look here, here's an intraday chart of the E-mini. Once again, we are above the 50 period simple moving average. And look at all the buy signals that are generated, okay? You could have used these all to go long, and I believe each one of these would have been a winner once again, except for this one. Now, had you used the conservative approach, you would have been stopped out on this trade. But if you used our more aggressive approach to trading strategy four, which we teach you in the course, you would have actually continued into the trade and you could have picked up some more right here. Okay, so once again, there are a million and one ways in which to trade this. What we do is we work with you and we fine tune it with all the things that I've learned and accumulated in my 37 years to make sure that it fits your needs. In other words, we have a bunch of members who love to trade aggressively. Therefore, they have larger stops, they have more capital to work with, and they don't mind taking a larger loss in order to stay into the trade. Whereas we have other traders that like to trade more conservatively. So we teach them how to get in and out with some small losses if they're wrong, and then how to get back in and ride the, the uh, trade uh, to get more gains out of it. So there's a lot of different ways to trade. We keep the standard core, the basic core of the strategy, and then we fine-tune it to meet your needs. Here's another uh, intraday chart of the E-mini. It's the one-minute chart now, so it doesn't matter what time frame we're looking at. What are we going to do? Are we going to buy or sell? Well, we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to the 50 periods of the moving average? And it's safe to say price is below, so this only means we're going to be looking to go short the E-mini. And the add-on generated all of these sell signals. I'm sure you could have taken advantage of any one of these on a one minute time frame. Just as well, if you want to go to a larger time frame, you can use the same strategy using a larger time frame to go long. This is our last signal that was generated just at the end of November coming into December. You would have exited before the market fell out of bed. And this also works on the Forex. If we have any Forex traders, this works actually tremendously on the Forex because uh, the Forex are such uh, greatly trending markets. As you see here, someone could look at this and say, well, there's really no trend. There's nothing really happening. We apply the 50 period simple moving average and right off the bat, we have a sell signal. Even though price may be above for some time here, our entry would be below the 50 period. So this is a more aggressive trade and you would have made possibly about 50 pips on this particular trade, nothing large, but you wouldn't have lost any money at all using our techniques to at least move your stop to unchange at certain points. But then later on, coming into the middle of November, guess what? Price is now above the 50 period. Even though we closed below, we are now above it, closing, and we're closing the top 25%. 
And so we have generated a buy signal with the plugin. And look what happened. If we look at the Australian dollar, we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to the 50 period simple moving average? Obviously, price is below. So we're not going to think at all about purchasing the Australian dollar. I know a lot of traders who were fighting with me when I was trying to teach them. And I, and I said, we'll continue to get sell signals. And they said, well, when are we going to go long? And I said, we won't go long until we go above the buy uh, sell line, which is the 50 period simple moving average. And then we'll look for setups to go long. We won't simply just buy because it trades above. We'll look for setups. And a lot of traders tried to fight the momentum. They tried to fight the trend and they tried to bottom fish. And they really uh, got their <laughs> coats handed to them because the market continues to go lower. So as I stated, you know, every once in a while, you'll see where the rule uh, doesn't uh, live up to itself. But for the majority of time, remember, this is a numbers game and this is a high probability uh, method. It will keep you in sync. So we only wanted to go short the Australian dollar. And I'm sure you could have taken a number of these signals to go short and really made some nice, nice gains. All right, so let's recap. We shared with you three things today, okay? As I stated, I was only going to share the first two, but I wanted to share the entry technique as well because these are things you can start using as early as tomorrow. Remember, if you want to trade, regardless of time frame, regardless if you're an investor or a trader, you should be always be in sync with the trend, all right? But one man's uptrend is another man's downtrend. So how do we get in sync with the trend? For my money, for trading 37 years, what seems to work the best of all, out of anything I've seen, out of any indicator, out of any algorithm, out of any uh, tool that's been out there, it's simply the 50 period simple moving average. All you have to do is plot a 50 period simple moving average and then ask yourself, where is price in relation to that 50 period? If price is above and if your entry is above, well, then you're uh, only going to be looking for, uh, for buy signals, okay? So if your buy signal is for the majority kind of oscillating above and below the uh, buy sell line, but if it has you entering above the 50, that's fine, it's okay. But most of the time, you'll be in sync simply by seeing that the majority bars are well above or well below. And if they're below, then you're only gonna be looking to go short. Remember, go back and look at the last 10, 20, 30 trades you've had and plot a 50 period simple moving average. I can almost guarantee that your losers were because you were out of sync with this particular technique. In other words, you were going long when you were below the 50 and you were going short because you were above, okay? Now, once that we're in sync, we're gonna look for key number two. That's where we're gonna look for that bar pattern. So whatever setup we have, remember, it doesn't matter if it's based off the tides of the ocean or if it's based off some somebody said something in the trading room. Whatever setup we have, we wanna make sure that we have a bar that closes in the top 25% if we're going long or the bottom 25% if we're going short. Why? Because more importantly than any chat room, more importantly than any stock guru or trading guru or anyone on TV, the market, the market itself is telling you which direction it most likely wants to continue. So if you, if you see it close in the top 25, most likely it's going to continue in that direction. If you see it close in the bottom 25, most likely it's going to continue in that direction, as long as you're in sync with the trend. And then lastly, key number three, once we find that bar that closes either in the top or bottom 25%, we're going to enter if we trade one to five ticks either above or below that particular bar, okay? This will ensure that you have confirmation that you're in sync with the short-term trend and that you're going in the direction of the market, okay? Remember, you can apply all these things. What I would suggest is to paper trade this for a while. You can either build a strategy based off this, apply it to uh, your own strategy that you're currently using, and I think it'll, it'll uh, really uh, bring your... Uh, percentages uh, much higher for uh, gains and profit, or you can uh, become a member of Specialist Trading and you'll see how we use it in our strategies. Just about, I would say, the majority of all our strategies incorporate all of these techniques. Now, I know, uh, especially a lot of members will say, well, Steve, this is a little confusing. I know every once in a while, uh, uh, it'll, I'll see so many signals, and there are a lot of signals of strategy number four, depending on what market you're looking at but it's almost mind boggling. I don't know uh, how to spot them or how to really filter out which are the good ones or the bad ones because there's just so many. Well, that's the good thing about strategy number four, okay? Strategy number four has the add-on and the plugin that we shared with you, but it also has scanning abilities for strategy number four signals once you uh, scan with the Metastock Explorer. And it's very simple. All you have to do is uh, simply 
check out a, a uh, here's an example of HURN, as you can see here. We're above the 50 period simple moving average. These were all signals generated to go long. But as we see here on this particular day, while well, we close in the top 25%, once again, it meets all the strategy number rule, strategy rules. And if we did a nice scan here on the Explorer, you see that this is where you'd simply click on this icon. All right, you would simply click on the strategy that you're interested in that you have uploaded. In this case, strategy number four. You select the market that you're interested in. And then it would generate a report, as you see right here, when you would have entered and gone long. And if we look in the future, we see here that this is where we had the long signal. And this was in the, sometime the, the end of uh, November, as you see. And we were generated here with an up green arrow. So you can have the decision. You can simply look at that scan on a nightly basis to see where the signals are generated and decide if you wanted to take the trade or not. And the trade was a very good one for our members. Took that one, and uh, they could have had a very nice gain in just three to five days. Had they decided to stay in longer, uh, they probably would have been stopped out, but still with an even nicer gain. So that's how simple it is. There are a lot of signals that are generated, but with the Explorer and, and the scanning ability, with the plug-in and uh, the add-on process, you'll be able to check out a lot of signals and, and decide for yourself how much risk parameters you want and how much and which particular ones you want to be trading. Now, if I could just take a few moments here, I want to talk about the special offer we have for the strategy number four, Metastock add-on and course. Now, this is strategy number four for stocks, E-mini, ETFs, and Forex. Even though the graphic here says the E-mini strategy number four, we have them for virtually all the different markets. If I can just click that on there. We have them for all the different markets. So if you decide to pick it for the E-mini, we'll, we'll send you out all the instant course access for that one, or if you decide to go for stocks. It's, it's a great, great course. As you can see, it comes with detailed instructions, such as I was giving you today. This comes with five videos, so you get instant access. And we teach you all the entries, all the exits, and all the stops. I just shared with you one of our entry techniques, but we also have different entry techniques for more advanced trading, as well as more aggressive or conservative type of trading. This also comes with signal alerts. If you're looking at uh, stocks on a nightly basis, we will send you out what we feel are the best setups for the next day. Okay, with an email alert as well. We also furnish you with weekly video lessons so that we have the, these archived so you can go back and look at these different lessons that will heighten your ability to trade strategy number four. Remember, this comes with the free add-on or plugin for the exploration scan. So you'll be able to have this plugin and, and see when the arrows are generated so you can hit buy and sell signals. And then you can scan nightly to see what the best setups are for the next day. And then lastly, this comes with my personal email access. So if you have any questions, you can always email me and I'll uh, walk you through anything or explain why a signal was generated or was not generated just so that you can fully understand the process. Remember, we're all about making you a part of the process and having you understand how to spot signals on your own. But the add-on or the plugin helps you in the beginning so that you can, you know, discern and tell which are valid setups and which ones aren't. But ultimately, you'll be able to see a setup just like that once you see the pattern and once you see all the rules that have been met. Now, I just showed you all these current examples going back just a couple of weeks or so. Uh, uh, all of these uh, were, were very high probability trades. Uh, not all of them were winners. We showed you a couple of losers in, in many of those, but how, we showed you how resilient the strategy is, how it quickly bounced back, and how you could have made back what you uh, lost on that small loss on the prior trade. Now, you can see how popular and what a great course this is. At 695, it's a tremendously uh, uh, really a value. But we've even dropped it an extra $200 for all the attendees today, our special Christmas gift to you, our happy holidays gift to you for $4.95. But this is for a limited time only. This is for all the people attending this. So if you're really interested in bringing your trading to the next level in 2014 and really getting on that road to consistency, because trust me, I know how difficult trading can be. I struggled my first year or two trading myself. It wasn't until someone taught me about all the things that I teach in my courses that I was able to become consistent. And now I've been trading for 37 years. So the point I'm trying to make is if you're interested in getting on board with your consistency in trading, I, I really highly suggest that you take advantage of this deep discounted price of only $4.95 for all of the attendees today. Now, lastly, if you have any questions, uh, even though my website is specialisttrading.com, we uh, suggest you go to protraderstrategies.com. That's our sister site. And those, uh, that's the site that, uh, that uh, uh, shares and sells all of our individual strategies, such as we just shared with you right now with strategy number four. 
And you can also email them at trading at protraderstrategies.com or call us directly at 310-598-6677. So that's where you go for information uh, for individual strategies such as uh, we just uh, shared with you right now with strategy number four and all the discounts as well. Okay, it looks like we are at the end of the presentation. I want to thank you all. If you had any questions for waiting, if you do any questions, I'll be happy to answer them right now. Uh, as Jeff said, this is being recorded, so I, I assume you can ask for a link and, and watch this if you had any more questions or you wanted to see the examples. But uh, I strongly urge you to take advantage of this great discount we have because it's only going to be for a couple of days. It's our holiday gift to you, deep discounted down to $4.95. And if you're truly interested about taking your trading to the next level, it's really a great, great price, and you owe yourself this. I trade strategy number four on a daily basis. As I stated, we have hedge fund traders, hedge fund managers, as well as traders that have only been trading for a couple of weeks, trading the exact same rules. So it's a great strategy to learn, uh, only about five rules at the most, and we really are there with you every step of the way. So if you're interested, simply go to trading at protraderstrategies.com or I'm sorry, email us at trading at .com, or give us a call at 310-598-6677. If there are no further questions, I guess this will bring us to the end of today's presentation. Once again, if you have any questions, now's the time to ask, or if you'd rather email us, that's fine, or call us directly, you can do that as well. If not, I just want to say thanks to Jeff. Thanks for having me here today and uh, look forward to all the people becoming members of Specialist Trading and to becoming members of Metastock as well.